Believe it or not, you can do astrophotography from the city without any filters. We live in Las Vegas, which, if you didn't know, is a very light polluted city. For the longest time, we had assumed that you could really only do deep sky imaging, uh, you know, just doing nebulae and narrowband filters. So for this video, we wanted to try imaging each type of target, so clusters, galaxies, and nebulae, from our home, from the city, without any filters, and see what happens. So let's find out! So, let's start with the easiest thing to image, which is star a star clusters. cluster. A star cluster, whether it's open or globular, it's just stars. So there's not really any difficulties at all trying to image this. We imaged the globular cluster M56 from the backyard and did not expect anything good out of it for just one hour, but we were pretty impressed. Of course, there was a lot of noise in the processing process, and we also saw that there was a gradient caused by the light pollution. It was also difficult to get colors out of the stars, and you might notice that almost all the stars are either white or reddish. But for just one hour and from a Bortle 9 zone, we were really, really pleased with the result. And once again, this was with no filters, so that's great. And I, I believe uh, you could probably get a similar result with most of the clusters, both globular and open clusters from the city. So uh, go ahead and do like 30 seconds, maybe a minute long, and see what happens. Woo! So you might wonder, can I image a galaxy from my backyard? Well, the answer is yes. And it, the result's really gonna depend on what the galaxy is. I think depending on the structure and the brightness of each galaxy, you might get either a terrible result or a okay result. So we'll pick one for this example and go with M94 and see what happens. M94 is the cat's eye galaxy. Yeah. And we imaged it for just one night and we we're really impressed with how it came out. So although a known fact is that very short exposures, like lucky imaging, is the way to go for imaging in broadband from the city because of how bright light pollution is. Uh, we didn't care about that fact and we went ahead and did like five minute exposures, which is like 300 seconds each. But for some reason it turned out really well. Uh, we used a very low gain, so the, somehow the, the test shot we did was fine, so we just launched a series of, you know, of shooting for five minutes each all night. So this one was a tough one, but in the end, it turned out really well. You should definitely check out our full blog post about M94. You'll find out what a single shot of five minutes looked like. And spoiler alert, it looks absolutely terrible. Yes. Also, in case you're not convinced that this was taken without any filters, uh, we made a full video about it so you can watch it and see how we captured M94 with no filters from our backyard. The last type of target on our list is a nebula. So we're going to be using the ever popular Orion Nebula and we're gonna image it without any filters. So picking M42 for our test here is kind of, a, it feels like cheating because the Orion Nebula is so large and so bright and so easy. So it does feel like cheating, but we will take this one as a, you know, as a experiment, <laughs> as a first one and then see how it goes. And then maybe later on we will add, um, we'll, we'll try again with different nebulae, nebula. but for now, for this specific experience here. We're gonna use the poster child of nebula. Which is nebulae. the Orion Nebula. So here is the image of the Orion Nebula from our backyard, Ooh. from our backyard, no filters in a Bortle 9 zone. So as you can see, just one hour, it's already looking amazing. So it has so much potential. If you have the time to spend a full night on it, then the Orion Nebula is a great target for, uh, you know, to capture it from the city without any filters. So go ahead and try it for sure. It's super simple. We also made a video about capturing this target and it's really, really short, but it's also very interesting. Yes. So these were um, three types of targets you can image in broadband without any filters from your backyard, from the city, bottle nine. Uh, as you can see, it's possible. Uh, so hopefully this was motivating for you guys. Uh, we really hope you can, you know, you don't have to always drive yeah, hours. Yeah. Uh, if you really want to image and you're feeling tired, just stay home and 
an image from home. See what you could do in your own backyard. Or try to just drive around to a parking lot and I don't know, try to image from there. But it's super simple as we proved it to you. So uh, hopefully you will be able to get some nice images too. And um, yeah, um, some targets will be harder than others for sure, but it's possible. So you can do that too. So we'll see you guys next time and clear skies. Bye.